Are you ready to become a nano brow master? Well, if you are, there's one key element that every master artist must know. My name is Maya Moore, and today I'm going to be talking to you about speed. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe because I have a lot of great videos coming up and I'd love for you to be notified. So why is speed so important? So let me just, let's think about microblading. When you're doing a microblading service, it's pretty fast. You know, you can cut through that skin, get that stroke saturation pretty quickly because each blade has like several pins on it, right? With a nano needle, you have one needle. You have a single needle that's implanting pigment in the skin. So because it's only one needle, it needs more time to saturate. Granted, it is moving at a very fast pace, like it's going up and down at up to 150 um, points per second, which is a lot. But in order to get a fully saturated hair stroke, you do need to go at a slow pace. So sometimes in your mind, you're not really sure what that pace is. Sometimes you're like, oh yeah, no, I'm going slow. But you may not be going as slow as you need to go in order to get a fully saturated hair stroke, which will eventually, you know, as it heals, it'll retain really well in the skin. Like that's the important part about this whole thing, right? Beautifully retained hair strokes. So let's talk about it. So as you can see in the visual here, you see me using my nano needle on practice skin and you can see I'm going pretty slowly through each stroke. So the importance of that is that again, you want to make sure that every part of that stroke has a really good amount of saturation. You don't want to wipe and it's invisible or you don't want to wipe and it's you know, you have some parts of your stroke that are nice and saturated and other parts are invisible or there are skips because you started going really fast. So keep it nice and steady all the way through. Think of yoga. Mm, just have that zen moment. See how my hands are moving? Everything is nice and slow. That's how you have to be when you're doing nano. You can't rush. So these aren't like one hour services. You're not gonna book your client and you know get them in and out in two hours. Maybe once you become a pro and you've been doing this for several years, you may work up to that. But initially you do wanna allow more time, about three hours. Sometimes people need even three and a half hours because you wanna make sure that you're working effectively, not quickly. It's about effective motion. So in my classes, these are two tips that I tell my students, and I think this will really help you with your speed. First thing is, you should count. And not just like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not like that. You're gonna do a one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000. You do that, and it'll help you automatically slow down as you're working through your stroke. If you're just like one, two, three, four, five, you're gonna go through that stroke really quickly. But if you have to say one 1,000 and say all the syllables, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, it's automatically going to slow your, your pace down. And it'll just kind of slow and ease your body as well. Like you won't have this, okay, let me rush through this stroke. Let me rush through that stroke. Okay, let me get through the brow. It's like, okay, wait a second. Let me ease my way through this. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. I guarantee you it will improve your saturation and it will improve your retention long term. The second tip, breathe. <laughs> Back to the whole yoga. I mean, when you breathe, it really opens up the mind. It gives you so much mental clarity. And when you breathe, as you're creating these strokes, it relieves the tension in your body and your shoulders and your mind and your hand. And so when you focus on your breath and just taking deep inhalations, I love that word, um, it really does improve your technique. It even makes your strokes a lot straighter. Like if you're struggling with, you know, having wobbly strokes, a lot of the time it's because we're tense. And we're so focused on what we're doing like you see this single needle and trying to make it balance 
But if you just focus on breathing properly, focus on that counting technique that I talked about, and then just easing your way on through it, I know your work is going to improve. And you'll be a master in no time. So to recap, slower is always going to be better. Okay? And how do we move slowly? You're going to do your counting. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Just count your way on through it. And lastly, breathe. Deep inhalations and it'll ease the mind and make those brows look amazing. All right, everyone, that's it for me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, if you have any comments, any feedback, I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to share. Thank you so much for your time.